Hey everyone, Alexander Mathias here from saxophonemasterclass.com. In today's lesson, I'm gonna take you through five easy blues licks on the saxophone. Now, I've already shown you how to play the blues scale in the key of A, and that's the key we're gonna use when I show you these blues licks. You can also get your own copy of the fingerings and the notes for A blues scale, along with the five easy blues licks that I'm about to show you at saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash five easy blues licks. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just play you these five easy blues licks before I take you through each of the notes one by one. So you may notice that all of these blues licks are within the one octave range of the A blues scale. So we have A, C, D, D sharp or E flat, E, G, and then the A above the first A. So once you've learned the A blues scale with just one octave, you're going to be able to play all of these licks. So before I go through each of the notes, I recommend just playing the A blues scale up and down the octave like this. Okay, so now we got the blues scale under our fingers, I'm going to take you through each lick one by one. So the first blues lick played slowly is this. And a little faster. So the notes are A, which is those two fingers in the left hand. We go up to C is that middle finger here, pressing down the middle C. Then D, which is all the fingers down with the octave key. D sharp, which is all the fingers down with the octave key, plus this top side key here. Not that one, this one. And then we go to E, which is three fingers in the left, two fingers in the right, up to G, which is just the three fingers in the left hand. Of course, we're holding the octave key as well. Back down to D sharp. Again, all the fingers down with the D sharp key and the octave key. Back down to D, which is those three fingers in the left hand, three fingers in the right hand. Then down to C, which is that middle finger by itself again. And finally, A. And those last two notes, C to A, are with add the octave key. Okay, so hopefully you're able to get that lick. If not, just rewind the video and go over these notes again. And don't forget that you can download your own copy of the fingerings for each of these notes and the blues licks at saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash five easy blues licks. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to blues lick number two. Blues lick number two slowly sounds like this. A little faster. Okay, so this blues lick starts on C, which is that middle finger, up to D with the octave key, three fingers in the left hand, three fingers in the right, up to E, back down to C without the octave key, then back up to D again with the octave key, D sharp, that little finger pressing down this key, then back to D again, just release that D sharp key, C without the octave key, and then A. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to blues lick number three. Blues lick number three sounds like this. So with this one, we start on the high A with the octave key. Then we move down to G, and we hold those two notes a little longer than the rest, so we're kind of emphasizing those notes. 
and then we move down to D sharp, all the fingers down plus this pinky here, D, then C, which we hold a little longer, so, and then finally A, without the octave key. Okay, so we're adding in a little more rhythm here. We're, we're, we're playing those first two notes as quarter notes. And then we're playing those second two notes as eighth notes. Before we go to C, which is also a quarter note. And then finally A, which we hold for longer. And that's blues lick number three. Now we're gonna move on to blues lick number four. Blues lick number four sounds like this slowly. And a little faster. So we start on A with the octave key, down to G. Then we just skip E and we move to D sharp all the fingers down with that D sharp key here. Then D, release that D sharp key with the octave key. Then move down to C, no octave key. A, back up to D with the octave key. Up to E, and then go down to C again without the octave key. And finally A. Sounds like this. So with that second to last note C, you're holding it a little longer than the rest of the notes. You're holding it just a little longer than the rest before you land on the note A. And finally we're going to move on to blues lick number 5. So this is how it sounds slowly. A little faster. Okay, so this one we're starting on that high A again with the octave key, down to G, up to A again, and back down to G again. So we're repeating those two notes. Then we move down to D sharp, all the fingers down with that D sharp key there. Down to D, then C, no octave key, up to D again. So it sounds like this. Then up to D sharp, D again, C without the octave key, and finally A. So again, we're holding that second to last note a little longer before we finish on A. The whole thing sounds like this. Alright everyone, that's five easy blues licks on the saxophone. If you found this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for weekly videos. If you have any questions or if there's other material you want me to cover, please let me know in the comments. Until next time, happy playing.